I knew she was upset, but... She's gone now. Do you think she's all right? I think she made her feelings quite clear. This is terrible. I wanted you to see this so you know that part of my life's over. It's about me and you now. Yeah, but... But nothing. We've got to look to the future. If we have a future. <laughs> Once they get rid of that ticking time bomb, we are going to grow old together. It's not a promise. Christmas. Anybody at home? All right. Crikey. Have you had a break in? Leaving present. Maya. <laughs> Hello, Maya. It's nice to see you here. <laughs> you have a lot to learn about cheating on your fiance, pal. She's gone. She's gone? Mm hmm. And we're back together again. Well, well, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. And they came in for some tea bags as well. I'm amazed. Not surprised, though. That Maya was no good for you, mate. This one's miles better. Thanks. So she leave quietly. Right, flat. Occupational hazard. Yeah. Shall I make myself scarce? No, hey, brother, no. Only popped in to say a quick hello. Why, where are you going? Bolton. What's in Bolton? Uh, looking at another shop. What to buy? Well, it's probably no good, but, you know, I thought I'd, uh, check it out. Can I come with you? No, 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 come. Business and pleasure. I'm fed up staying here on my own. Well, I'll try to look after you, won't you, Todd? I don't think that's what she wants from Al. OK, 30. I promise. OK. So bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. He's up to something. Well, traffic centre's open late, and he said he'd be earning money so I could buy nice things for you, and he likes surprises. Maybe he's out buying your ring after all. This is a first? Yeah, yeah, I was wondering if you could help me. Oh. You mean you haven't come round to chat about the weather? <sighs> it's about Maya. No, I've been trying to get in touch with her. She won't answer her mobile. I just wondered if you knew where she was. Well, if she's not answering, it either means her phone's bust or she doesn't want to talk to you. I wonder which one it is. Yeah. Only there's some mail I need to pass on. And she left some stuff as well. OK. Give it to me. I'll see if she gets it. So you do know where she is? A lot of mail, was there? OK. OK, look, I need to talk to her. Well, like I say, I'm not sure the feeling's mutual. <sighs> Come on, Frankie, what do you want me to do, beg? It's not me you've got to make up to. Look, I've got to talk to her, right? It's important. So I need to know about this? Not yet. So, your new fiancé's got a surprise in store, has she? Well, I think that's my business, don't you? Thanks. I appreciate it. Pleasure. Frankie. Probably junk. Some of it looked important. Thanks, statement. There you go. Typical. Gave them a change of address last week. Mm, can't trust anyone these days. So how long have you been here? About ten days. It's nice. It's nice. Settling in? Hmm. You were going to be doing some consultancy work. How's that? It's oh, working out quite nicely, thanks. A local? Here, there, and everywhere. Oh, fantastic. Enjoying it? What do you want, Dev? You didn't come here just to uh, bring in my mail and pass the time of day? No. So what? I just thought I'd let you know what's going on my end. But Sunita's had her operation. It seemed to go OK. And it looks like she's going to get better at last. It's nice for her. We've decided to get engaged. Frankie didn't tell you. Only that I know you're in touch. And... Oh, what am I supposed to say? Congratulations. <sighs> Not that crass, I hope. You came here just to tell me that? No. Not just that. The ring that I gave you that belonged to my grandmother, I was wondering if I could have it back. You don't want much, do you, Dev? I know it's not an easy question. 
garbage about the mail and how I was getting on. You were so transparent. I'm not doing this lightly. Oh, don't tell me you struggled with your conscience. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, that makes it so much better. I'm sorry for all that's happened. You could have fooled me. Dumping me was bad enough, but coming to ask for the ring back. If it was a ring that I bought you, it wouldn't matter. Is that how much I meant to you? It's a family heirloom. You must understand that. I think you should go. I think it's a small price to pay after trashing my flat like you did. You trashed my life. Right, but we've done now it. Now get out. What are you going to do with it? You're not going to wear it? Be a bit difficult. I threw it away. When? As soon as I could. Where? All academic now. Bye, Dev. But you must remember... I said... Out! You just tell me what you want. No, well, why can't we discuss it on the phone? No, it always has to be your way, doesn't it? No, no, I do not want you to come around here. Do you want a brew? <clears throat> oh, sorry. No, right, right, well, I'll see you there. Yeah. Right, bye now, bye. Who is that? Ah, the agent from the Bolton shop. He's had an offer. Oh, well, you weren't that interested, were you? Mm, I'm not so sure. Anyway, well, it won't hurt to take a second look, right? Oh, you're not going out, are you? Yeah. Couple of hours, tops. Hmm? Well, it's for a good cause. Mm. Our future together. Tell about. So what's so important that you couldn't talk about it on the phone? The other day you wanted my engagement ring back. Looks good. I've always liked it. It's one of your cheap little triumphs. I got you over here to talk terms. You can have the ring back, Dev, if, um... If what? You take me to bed. Mm. Call it a command performance, if you like, and I'll give you back your granny's ring. Are you serious? <laughs> it's a genuine offer, if that's what you mean. That is meant to be fun. Not serious, a final frolic for old time's sake. Something to remember me. Yeah, I've got all the memories on me, but come on, Maya. Come on, I won't play your games anymore. OK. I would have thought a successful businessman like you would have jumped at a bargain offer. Well, if you still want it, you'll have to pay for it. It's a family heirloom. Which you gave to me, so it's my property, right? Well, yeah, yeah, legally. I'm yeah. a lawyer. And it's valuable. If you want it, it'll cost you £2,000. Unless you want to change your mind and take it to bed. That wasn't that long, was I? Could have been worse. Well, are you going for shop number eight? No, I'm going for something better. Something for you. For me? Mm-hmm. I knew you were up to something I could tell. What I'm up to, Sunita, is trying to make you happy, and I'm going to do it by giving you this. Close your eyes. An engagement ring. An engagement ring. May I? Sunita, I hope you wear this for as long as you live. Hang on. This is your grandma's ring, isn't it? It is. It means a lot to me that you're going to wear it. Exactly how and when did you get this? This is the ring you gave to Maya. So how did you get it? What does it matter? The point is I got it. You've been seeing her. You have been with her today, haven't you? Yes. To get back a family heirloom. All those lies about going to look at a shop in Bolton. I didn't want to get your hopes up. I didn't even know if I could persuade Maya to part with it. Two thousand pounds that cost me to get it back. Well, you should have kept your money. I can't believe you'd do this. What's my crime? What, I didn't want Maya to have my grandmother's ring that I wanted you to have it. Surely you can understand that. I am not going to wear an engagement ring that you put on another woman's finger when you told her that you loved her and asked her to marry you. Surely you can understand that! I think you're being over-emotional now. Come on, you know this ring has deep sentimental value to me, don't you? 
I just want it to belong to a woman that I love. What, till the next one comes along? I am never going to wear that ring, and if you think that is being over-emotional, I think you'd better leave right now. Sunita. Still playing with it. Maya's ring. 46 years my grandmother wore this. You didn't really expect me to wear it, did you? Knowing that you'd given it to her, knowing that you'd gone round to see her to get it back. It's important to me because of what it means. Well, it is very unusual. You see the two stones? The opal is meant to represent the universe, the sapphire, the earth. And my grandfather told my grandmother that his love was like the horizon where the two meet. Everlasting. Well, you can give it me after we're married then. I know what it symbolizes for you. It's just that I wanted my engagement ring to mean something about us and no one else. Yeah. One day, I shall shower you with opals and sapphires. I'll settle for a diamond. I am going to spend the rest of my life proving how much I love you. I am too happy. Mm? I don't want to be this happy. Something bound to come along and spoil it. Nothing is going to spoil it, is it? Mm. Mm. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> there they are, the happy couple! Hey! Hey! What are you cheering so hard for? Now they've come, we can start eating. Oh, my congratulations to you both. Thank you, Michael. Shelley, champagne all around, please. Come on, the champagne, where's the ring? Oh. Oh. This one, I am definitely married. Darling, you having a good time? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. I've just got to nip home for a moment. Well, what's up? I just remembered I've forgotten to take my medication. Well, I'll get it for you. No, no, it's fine. You stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, look troubled? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you take your medication? Yeah. Excellent. You know, for some reason, mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about Maya. <clears throat> you know when you went to see her about your grandma's ring? Yeah. How did she say? Maya just uh, 
you know, like she always was. One minute with her, and I'm like pff, on edge. But what I saw right now, I just don't don't, don't no. say things about it because you think I need to hear them. We've both loved other people before. We just got to accept that. Yeah, you're right. It's me. I found what I was looking for. I'll be down in a minute. Did you get what you wanted? Sunita? Did you get what you wanted? Uh, yes, I did. Poor Todd's done enough extra hours already. So what? He gets paid for them. He, he might have things to do. Well, he might, but I definitely have. I take my fiance to a very important registry office booking. Yeah, when he starts his shift. Let me do a couple of hours in the shop, and I can give everybody change with my left hand. Just want to make a special day of it, you know, not let work spoil it. Yeah, well, it's going to take more than a couple of hours in there to spoil my day. So you haven't changed your mind then? Good. Me, you know, I never shy away from new experiences, especially not when it's in such a good cause. And it's not as if anyone gets hurt now, is it? I'll pick you up about lunchtime. Great. Look forward to it. See you later. At least now this will get a chance to get properly chilled. Well, why didn't you remind me to take it? Darling, darling, only one of us here has ever bought a registry office wedding before. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now, why don't you dig out your birth certificate, whatever else you need, we eat, and then... Where is it? Ah, a revenge, eh? I'm sorry I can't marry you, sir, but I have no legal documents. Dev, I'm serious. I keep all my important stuff in here. OK, am I in there? Dev, it is not here. All right. Now, listen. You have a lot on your mind, things get misplaced, so why don't we have something to eat and I'll help you look for it, yes? Yes. Champagne, lady wants tea. The tea. Now, you sure I can't even tempt you with half a glass? Tea! Okay! I got you plain. I didn't know what you'd like. I'm not hungry. I'll get the door anyway. Yeah, all right, keep your bonnet on. Hello, Danny. There you go. Here's to the new job. Cheers. Didn't take you long to sort that out, did it? Oh, solicitors might be unpopular, but we're always in demand. Ta-da! There you go, Frankie, babe. I'm all yours. And so what? You could fry an egg on me. I'll eat at the restaurant, thanks. <laughs> we was just hosting Maya's new job. Oh, yeah, interior design in it, Maya. I heard all about the work you did on Dev's flat. Yeah, I regret that. It was rash. I think he had it coming after the stunt he pulled with Sunita. So how are the happy couple? Not so happy as you might think. 
I just saw Leanne Battersby in the Rovers. Apparently, Dev gave her a job in the corner shop, then tried it on with her. When she didn't play ball, he sacked her. Mom, you must have a thing for shop girls. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Forget your wallet, did you? Oh, hang on. They're not in. It's you I came to see. I saw you coming from the Rovers. Why? What do you want? I hear, um... Dev Allahan made certain sexual advances while you were working for him, and that he subsequently sacked you. How did you find out about uh, that? Not important. What matters is that you have more than sufficient grounds to take into a tribunal. I can help you. My law firm specialises in that kind of work. Uh, no, I, I don't know. You could receive a payout running into several thousands of pounds. Look, here's my card. Give me a buzz if you're interested. Oh, and in the meantime, it's best if you keep what we've discussed between the two of us. It could harm our case if anyone gets wind of it prematurely. I look forward to your call. I still say there's no need to open up today. Business as usual. I'm not having Leanne's lies ruined trade. You know what? I'm looking forward to this tribunal. This nonsense has gone on for long enough. I'm going to shoot her down in flames. I can't say I'm looking forward to well, it. You don't have to come. Yes, I do. You know what really annoys me? That I was stupid enough to employ in the first place. That family. They just want to drag everyone else's name as low as theirs. Yeah, I don't know what she's going to say about me, what I'm supposed to have uh, done, but whatever it is, whatever it is, it's lies. I know. I hope so. I hope so, because it's important, you know, not what some uh, tribunal might choose to believe. It's what you believe that, um, that matters. And I believe you. Of course okay. I do. OK. OK? Yeah. I think I might have exaggerated things a little bit. You think what happened might have been your fault? I suppose it might, yeah. Even though you didn't realise it at the time? Well, no, I didn't, but... Well, now I've had time to think about it, I just... You think... see things differently. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Every woman I ever represent in a case like this says the same thing. It's that whatever men do to us, we feel compelled to blame ourselves. This is a respectable businessman. Of course he can't be to blame, and if he's not to blame, then who is? You. Has to be, and that's how they get away with it. Yeah, I know, but And we'll go on getting away with it until we stand up and say enough is enough. This kind of behaviour will no longer be tolerated. Well, yeah, and I know that men can be like that. Also, uh, there's the question of how it will appear if you withdraw at this point. It's not going to reflect very well on you, is it? Everyone's saying, well, we always knew it was just a try-on, that she was lying. Oh, and um, there would be certain financial consequences. How do you mean? Well, uh, I took on the case because of the principle involved. It's something lawyers do, though we don't get much credit for it. Take on cases we believe in and so don't charge for. Whereas, if you're now telling me that, um, really, it's been a waste of my time, the practice will insist on charging you the going rate. You'll be happy to pay that, will you? Well, you never told me any of that before. Because I wanted to help you. And still do. Look, the way I see it is this. The thought of the tribunal has frightened you. Well, OK. It would anyone. It's what men like him rely on, that nobody's ever going to stand up to them. Leanne, I don't blame you for having doubts. But I promise you, I will be there with you, and I will look after you. You owe it to yourself and to all the other young women in your situation to see this thing through. You know, you don't have to come if you'd rather not. Does that mean you'd rather I didn't? So she's going to make me out to be some sort of serial groper, and you want to hear all that? Not particularly, but if she's going to say it, I'd sooner hear it than have to imagine it. Let's go. Maybe she's changed her mind? No. Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? We'll get on with that. Sorry, I hope we haven't kept you waiting too long. Liam, would you like to sit here? No. I don't believe this, but you are representing her. I am, as a matter of fact, yes. Actually, yes, yes, I do believe this. She is just a puppet, isn't she? You're the one that's pulling the strings. Mr Chairman, if I can explain, I used to live with this woman here. And what's happening here? This, this is her way of getting her own back, her revenge, so we can stop this right here, right now, and we can all go home. There are certain irregularities here, which, to be frank, I'm not happy about. 
On the other hand, I'm not happy about wasting public money either. So I suggest we proceed with the case and make every effort to concentrate on the matter in hand and not allow other, more personal factors to intrude. Just as long as you know. You've made your point. Well, this is her revenge, nothing else. Miss Battersby, we've all seen the statement you made via your solicitor. Ha! <laughs> but now I'd like you to tell us in your own words just what it was about Mr. Allahan's behavior that you objected to. Well, just that, um... I know it's not easy. No, it's not easy because it's not in her own words. Mr. Allahan, any more of this and I shall have to terminate these proceedings. Perhaps it would help if I put one or two questions, sir. Please. Leanne, um, how did you find Mr. Allahan when you first started working in the shop? He was all right, yeah. Friendly? Yeah. Then what changed? Well, he started telling me that he fancied me. Did he attempt to touch you at all? Well, at first, it was just putting his hand on my shoulder sort of thing, and, and then he started to stand really close to me. But I had to move away, and, and it's only a small shop, so you can't really move that far. Did he say or do anything you particularly objected to? Um, what do you mean? Did he make advances towards you? <sighs> well, it was obvious what he was after, wasn't it? I mean, he, he wanted to sleep with me, didn't he? Did he say that? Well, sometimes a man doesn't have to say. You, you can just tell. And how did you feel about that? Well, I didn't like it. I mean, I've got a boyfriend and, and he was engaged, so no. No way. You said that to him? Well, it's hard to really remember who said what, really, but, I mean, he got the message. And how did he react to, uh, this message? React? Was that why he sacked you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he had no other reason for sacking you? No. To do with your competence or timekeeping? No. He sacked you? Because you wouldn't sleep with him? Yeah. Everything that Miss Butterby said is, uh, it's true. It just happened the other way around. I didn't make any advances to her. She made them to me. And I had to let her go reluctantly, only when it became clear that she wasn't going to stop. And now what's happened is Miss Sharma's got hold yes. of her. Thank you. My client totally denies these unfounded and unsupported accusations. May I question Mr. Allahan, sir? So long as we all stick to the matter in hand. Mr. Allahan. Miss Sharma. You have seven shops? Yeah. Can you tell me the first names of your employees? What's My information has them as uh, Sunita, Verinda, Sonia, Humera, Grace. What, what, what's all this about? They're all female. All young ladies, yes? Well, some aren't all that young. You only employ women. Why? I think it's becoming clear why, isn't it? Well, it's a job that appeals more to women than it does to men. It appeals to you, and you're a man. No. The reason you employ women is because that puts them in your power, because you're then able to pressurise them into granting you sexual favours. Oh, come on! Because that's how you like women to be, isn't it? In your power. If you don't like them, you can just get rid of them. Like I got rid of you? Please. Can you see where this is coming from? You are an arrogant, patronising man who has a history of using women and then disposing of them. Well, we're not all powerless, as you're finding out now and will find out. Can we stop this immediately? Because you are a bitter, twisted woman who will use anybody to take her revenge. Yes, we're all bitter and twisted, aren't we? Those of us who try and stand up to you. Not only you. And you, whereas I always treated you with respect. In fact, looking back, a hell of a lot more than you deserve. Oh, now you're getting what you deserve, shown to be just a dirty old man! You Please. are showing the world just how mad you really are! A pathetic lech! Silence! Stark, staring bonkers! I said silence. This hearing is suspended. The conduct of this case has, quite frankly, been a disgrace. However, we've heard enough of Miss Battersby for me to say that I find her almost as unreliable as her counsel. I therefore reject her accusations, and I invite Mr. Allahan to claim costs against Miss Battersby, should he so wish. Hi, Sarah. Hi. You all right? Any problems? No, none. I think Sarah can go now, can't she, Def? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank 
Thanks. You know, I was really rattled for a minute when the door opened and Maya walked in. Yeah, I could see. I felt like I was trapped, you know? Like the old heart started going, I didn't know what to do, you know? I needn't have bothered. Typical Maya, so over the top, no one's gonna believe a word that she says. Yeah, and I mean, in a way, I'm glad that we had her. A case like that can turn nasty. She turned it into a farce. And do you know who I feel really sorry for? The aunt? Yeah. I mean, no, she was lying for her teeth, but, uh, you know, she'd been set up just like we had. We were all there just because Maya wanted to show the world just what she thought about me. But the world is a little bit wiser than that, isn't it? And all she's done is shown everyone just what a loony tune lady she really is. So let's, um... Look on the bright side. Hmm? Could have been a lot worse. Could it? Probably not, no. I suppose one good thing's come out of it. At least now you can't doubt my innocence. We also can't doubt that Maya's back. She's not. She is. She's back in our lives after we thought we'd seen the back of her. Well, more than thought. I prayed we had. Well, maybe she just needs to get it out of her system. Or maybe today is just the beginning. Of? Campaign against <laughs> us. No. Yes! She hates us both. And she's capable of anything, you know that. So, yeah, OK, so we survived today. But what's she going to do next? Just be on your guard. On oh, my guard? <laughs> What do you think she's going to do? Well, I've no idea, but that's the point, isn't it? Look, she probably won't even agree to see me. And if she does, then I'll get my solicitor to send her a letter which he says he's happy to do. So why not just do that? Because I want to give her a shock. Like she gave us. Don't worry. See you later. Bye. Hiya. So how are you? Deb's going to see Maya. Well, you've both seen enough of her yesterday. Yeah, well, I'm just finding what you might try next. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's okay. There's a Mr. Allahan wanting to see you. I asked him what it was about, but he said you'd know. What? He's here now. In reception. I told him we should make an appointment, but he said it was urgent. I could always tell him you're engaged. No, um. No, show him in. Right. So. Mr. Allahan. Miss Sharma. What can I do for you? What you can do for me is stop playing these games. If you're referring to the tribunal... Yes. Yes, I am. I was merely representing a client. No, I'm sorry, but no, you weren't merely representing anybody. What you were doing was using a, a silly girl that I was stupid enough to employ to set me up so you could have a go at me, and it worked. Well done. We lost. I should be congratulating you. No need. And besides, I'm not going to bother trying to get costs out of Paul Leanne. Generous of you? Realistic. I just want to forget about the whole thing, as does Anita, which is really why I'm here. Now, you've had your day in court. OK. But it's over. It's finished. Of course it is. No, but I mean it. Whatever game you think you're playing, it's finished. You think the law is a game? No, but I think you do. One that you think you can win, but you can't. Now, what I've done is I've talked to my lawyer and any more tricks from you and we are going straight back to court, only this time it's going to be me suing you, all right? <laughs> you know, I never realised you were so insecure. Just what is it you're afraid of? What is it you and your lovely fiancé think that I might do to you? <laughs> no idea. I'm not as devious as you. Oh, honest Joe. The shopkeeper. <laughs> You know, name-calling on overlook, but if you try anything else, anything, then we will throw the book at you. Well, thanks for the warning. It's my pleasure. Listen, you might not believe this, but I really don't wish you any harm. I don't. Nice of you to say so. Look, I'd like to think that you're getting on with your life. Meet somebody else, you'd be happy. I intend to be, don't worry. Good. But Maya, please take me seriously. I thought I always did. Actually, I think that was the difference between 
You try anything else to, to, to damage either me or Sunisa, so you will pay the price, I promise. Yes, thank you. I get the message. Have a good life. And you. He walked straight past me, didn't say a word. Uh, he's pig ignorant, don't worry about him. Good looking, though. Oh, if you like the ageing playboy type. I suppose I must do. So what are you up to later? I've got a wedding. Oh, great. Mm. What, someone from your family or...? From my family, yeah. I wondered when I saw your buttonhole. Is it a big do, all the trimmings? No, quite small. Immediate family only. Well, sometimes they can be best. Give me a shout when you're going. I, I can lock up. Will do. Well, hello. Now you. Nervous. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be that. Uh, where are the witnesses? They're coming. They're not to be here. Good. Oh, and you've got the ring. Yes. <laughs> well set then. And you are Sunita Parak. And let's begin, shall we? Where are we going? Shop. Why? Why don't we just uh, get away for a bit? Like where? Anywhere. What's got into you? Nothing. <laughs> I just feel as if we should celebrate the defeat of Maya. She tried her best to harm us and she failed. She's gone. She's finished. So come on before I change my mind. Come on. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. While it is is, will you take Sunita Parekh to be your lawful wedded wife? I will. Sunita Parekh, will you take while it is is to be your lawful wedded husband? I will. I can't be too long, actually. I've got a wedding to go to. Good. You need to get out more. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Maya. You don't fool me. Going into a pub just on the off chance you might bump into Dev and Sunita. You are so wide of the mark. What would you have done if they'd have been there? Give them a really hard stare. I like them to know that I haven't gone away. That I'm still very much around. Get a life, girl. Show them you couldn't give a monkeys. Read my glossy lips. Move on. Oh, you're right. I know you're right, but they don't make it particularly easy for me, do they? Especially not with him going around groping shop girls. Funny, isn't it? Of all the solicitors he could have come up against. I wanted the case. Of course, I wanted the case. I admit it. Why shouldn't I get some pleasure out of watching him squirm? You're doing it again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, got off, didn't he? Acquitted on a technicality. Right then, so now you draw a line under the old thing. They're out of your life for good. Just let them get on with it. You're such a great friend, you know that? You keep me sane. Yeah, well, if you don't get the message soon, I might have to bang you over the head with a mallet. Hi, Frankie. All right, Frankie. Didn't expect to see you in here. Why not? It's my local. I like but you prefer a bit more classy, don't you? Well, maybe she's slobbing it. Looking for a bit of rough. That might be Jamie's idea of a nice lunch, but it isn't mine. Now, now, ladies, come on. No, no, don't stop her. I mean, Jamie's out. I haven't got time to stand and back chat with the likes of you. Oh, no. I'm really sad. I'm really disappointed. Oh, look. you got a new posh friend you can play with. Oh, Frankie, what a lovely surprise. Mm. I didn't expect to see you till this evening. Hello, hello. It's Manchester's answer to Ally McBeal. And we honoured. Excuse me if I don't curtsy, won't you? Listen, Leanne, I'm uh, very sorry things didn't work out for you. It weren't things. It were you who didn't work out for me. And me who had to carry the can for you and your stupid games with your ex. Uh, you were keen enough to play along when you could see the pound signs flashing. <laughs> I wonder how far you'd go if you couldn't afford the price of getting your legs waxed. I'll lay off a bit, Leanne. Now go on, let us shoot a big mouth off if that's the kind of bird you're into. I'll let me buy you a drink. Oh, you're not going to join us? Ah, what a shame. I was really enjoying that. Oh, don't let the little cow get to you. Two large white wines, please. Uh, do you want Chablis? Well, I have a corkscrew and a bottle. Beyond that, I have no idea. Well, the house will be fine. Right. <laughs> I just cannot see what he sees in her. Oh, men, they've no sense. Don't worry, he'll soon get over that. Oh, 
the sooner the better. What are you doing here, anyway? I like to pop in now and again. I'd hate them to forget me. Mm. There we are, girls. Oh, you haven't got the right money, have you? Sorry. Listen, why don't you and me make a day of it? We're already booked in at the restaurant tonight. We could have one more here and then go do some serious retail therapy, yeah? Oh, I'd love to, Frankie. But I'm afraid I've got to show my face to a wedding in half an hour. Oh, can't get out of it much, so I'd dearly love to. <laughs> Maybe I could tag along with you. Could be fun. Uh, that it won't be. Just another boring registry office number. Well, we could always liven up the reception for them. Oh, I doubt they're the sorts who appreciate that. They've only invited a small handful of people, and most of them already eat each other as it is. Lawyers. Um, I'll see you tonight, Frankie. Bye-bye. See you. Not back to work so soon. I was just checking in, Fred. Just checking in. Oh, yes. Well, you, you see, you should... You should give yourself time to settle back in. There's no good to rush. I said, there's no good to rush. Still, I hope you had a grand outing and that the Lake District was at its best for you. It was absolutely lovely. Thank you, Fred. You didn't suddenly get the urge to nip across the border to Gretna Green and save yourself a mountain of coppers. Fred, we was tempted. But we have our hearts set on all our friends being there when we do. Right, so nothing's changed there, Fred. October the 25th, be there or be... Scratch! Yeah. <laughs> Providing we can still book the elephant. Elephant? Tradition, Fred. Tradition. Well, that sounds a bit more fun than a vicar. Do we all get to ride on it? Just the bridegroom, Fred. And it's just as well. You don't want an inebriated duck worth trying to kick it into a gallop. I shall see you later. See ya. Bye. Excuse me. Sounds a big affair. Did you plan an elephant for your previous wedding, Dev? Or was your previous fiancé not worth the extra? There was no previous wedding, Frankie. No, so I gather. Funnily enough, I've just been speaking to Myra a few minutes ago in the Rovers. Has she gone? You wish. plans long term? I like China, like in London at some point. Mm. Get away from Dev. No, he doesn't take up that much space in my head. No, I just uh, want a fresh start. Mm. How's married life? Sorry? You don't remember me? Uh, no, should I? I drove you to your wedding the other week, in the taxi. Uh, sorry, you've completely lost me. Uh, you and your husband? Down Rushstone. We said how strange it was for bride and groom to go together. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> sure hope so. It's your own wedding. <laughs> oh, no, no, you've got that bit wrong. Um, no, when he got married, he went with his wife in a taxi. Um, and we were going to someone else's wedding that day. He's my cousin. Really? Mm. I remember you now. <laughs> you were really proud because your son had just joined the army. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Believe me, if I'd been the bride, I'd still be in the south of France on my honeymoon. Right. How's your son doing? Oh, he's fine, fine. <laughs> well, good. Nice seeing you. Yeah, and you. Let's go over. Got a customer waiting. What's that all about? Oh, God knows. Don't know where he got the idea I was getting married. In fact, I think I said never in a million years. <laughs> What a weirdo. Oh, will you feast your eyes upon that? She may just be a shocker, but she scrubs up incredibly well. Come say hi to Mum and Dad. Doesn't she look great, Dev? Candescent. Like an angel. Dev! Sunita. No hard feelings? I know it's ever so slightly inappropriate for me to be here, but I just had to come and give you my best wishes. I've given this so much thought, and I just want you to know that I wish you well. Is that it? Uh, they really need to go in the water, actually. <laughs> I'll stick them somewhere else if you're not careful. Ranji! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Miller. I bet you didn't expect to see me here. Well, you could say that. And now I should go. I just wanted to give you the flowers and wish you both luck for the future. You deserve them, Sunita. I see that. 
I'm sure they wouldn't want to banish you, Maya. We're all friends here, aren't we? Are we? Of course we are. Maya, come with me. Have something to eat. I hear the Stadkadal is amazing. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, well, only if you're sure. Of course. That's so sweet. <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me, no, I've just got to go to the ladies. Oh, Sunita, that's uh, quite a firm grip you have. I don't like you. I've never liked you. I think you're a freak, and I'd like you to leave now. Uh, actually, Sunita, you're beginning to hurt me now. <sighs> I bruise very easily. Don't tempt me. Look, you obviously have issues, and really that's perfectly understandable. I'll just go to the little girl's room, and then I'll be out of your hair. I'll be waiting. <sighs> Sunita, don't be like this. I don't know that I can bear it. This might sound odd, but I was rather hoping that one day, after all this, we might be friends. Listen, Maya, I've got enough mates round here, thank you. And most of them are on the right side of psychotic, so I tell you what, why don't you just nip to the loo and then leave, yeah? I wish you wouldn't carry all this anger around with you. It's a killer. So where's, uh, you know who? She whose name must not be mentioned. She went to the loo about three years ago and hasn't been seen since. Do you want me to have a look in and see what's occurring? Oh, spoke too soon. Sunita, you know I can chuck her out. It's my pub. Just give me the wink. Stick another one in there, Kieran, and fill it up to the brim. Coming up. Cheeky. Do you cry yourself to sleep every night, Kieran? Now, why would I want to do something like that? Because you were the villain. Keeping Sunita company while she was revving herself up for death. I bet when she was in bed with you, she didn't even see your face. She saw his. This really upset me, but uh, I think I'm reaching closure. Well, I'm really happy for you. Cheers, Kim. Are you going to pay for that? <laughs> oh! Oh! God, I'm so sorry. Get out of my pocket, you stupid freak. Sunita, I can't believe you're being like this. It was a mistake, I swear, Kieran Tower. Right, come on, lady, that's it, enough. Out. Get your hands off me. I've never been treated like this in my whole well, life. Well, you should get out more now. Out. Oh, it seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Well, if it was a mistake. Women. What would you understand? I understand plenty, love. Is it so bad to wish happiness on someone? And yet somehow, and this is the weird thing, that makes me the devil incarnate. I'll tell you what the weird thing is, Maya. You. Fighting a losing battle, I don't know why I bother. Sunita, what? Look, daft. No, it's bad luck. Don't be daft. I don't look at my first wife. I'm a fat lot of good at this. Come on. She must have seen the look on my face when I was about to wash his airy toes. <laughs> Don't make your chunny heavy with tears. They've got to be able to lift you. And you're not a weakling your brother is. Hi. This doesn't look good. You're not change your mind. Huh? Yeah, I'm happy that's all. Honestly, I'm fine. See you, man. Are you ready? I've got a tissue somewhere. Shell, where's my bag? Oh, you, you're done. You shed it. Oh, it's really you, mate. It's okay. I'll get it. Thanks for looking after it. Pleasure. Anything to help the day go smoothly? Sunita, today. Today, I really am a proud father. Don't, Dad. Where's Jaish with my bag? He goes. spend the rest of my life with. Sunita is all that I want. Something up? Oh, uh, just a gate crasher, that's all. I'll be with her. <laughs> Once a landlady, always a landlady, eh? <laughs> Kim. 
Kevin. I want to watch. It's Maya. Are you sure it was Maya you saw? Yeah, positive. Do you know what you like jumping to conclusions? Charlie, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Can you not accept that? I'm sorry. Can we do your relationship after we've stopped this wedding being derailed? Not seeing Karen, have you? No. A flipping killer. I'll check the car park. Yeah, I'll check the garden. No, 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 it's all right. It's not that bad. Just can't do what she's told, that's all. Do stay here in case she tries to get in again, all right? How's that? Thank you. Clever having a little sewing kit in your bag. Oh, you never know when you might need to stitch someone up. Are you a friend of Sunita's? And my connection's more with Dev, actually. Um, so why have we stopped? No problem, I hope. My daughter has to have everything just so. I suppose when you found the right man, you don't want to compromise. Hmm. Are you sure that's OK? Yes, thank you. Not at all. Mom, is Shannon here? No. I must say, he has some lovely friends. They say you can tell a lot about a man by his friends. Ah, he's lovely, Mum. And you will love him and know you will. I think he'll do you very well. Oh. I never wanted to make you ashamed. No. You're a headstronger, stubborn. You get it from your father. You must love him very much. Very much. Then I trust things will go well for you both. Shelley! What's going on? Nothing. I just came out for some air. Well, Jay said there was a, a gate crusher. Have a word, gate crusher. Sounds so violent and destructive. I prefer something more poetic like a, oh, I don't know, inspector at the feast. My one. Where'd you get off on all this? I don't want to get off. I'm enjoying the ride. Nice feed. Leave. Now or I'm calling the police. The police? <laughs> if you don't want to do that, you'd spoil the lovely atmosphere. And all for the sake of what? Five minutes? Give me five of your happy minutes alone. And I promise I'll go away. I wasn't sure what to get you, gift-wise. I don't want anything from you. There was no sign of a wedding list, so... Uh... I thought you'd prefer a surprise. What do you think you're going to achieve by this? What did you think I was going to say that I made a mistake? I can't imagine what it's like in your head. You wouldn't want to. You couldn't. Because you've never had everything you thought you knew. All your hopes, all your trust destroyed. And then watch the person responsible laughing and dancing and loving someone right under your nose. I'm going in. What the hell are you doing? Uh, it's my fault. I'm his ex fiancee. We were just uh, reminiscing. So is this leaving? My sister's in there feeling foolish. I mean, is this some kind of punishment no. for asking you to wait, eh? Oh. I can take care of this. Yeah. Dev, go on. Come on, come, come on. on. Come on. Look at me. I don't go in for amateur pranks. Sounds like you failed to mess things up for the way. Why does everyone think so badly of me? I like a happy ending as much as the next person. Where are you going? To congratulate the happy couple. My work here is done. Do what you like now. That's good of you. Oh, close that gap. Why is that a gap? For the groom's father. Where is he? That's you, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> a university lecturer, you say? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Very happy for the both of you. Thank you, Karen. Everyone is so excited. Mm. They're so excited for you. I'm trying to store this feeling in my head. Remember it forever. <laughs> she really does look happy, huh? I don't think we'll be having any more trouble with her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Sunita Parekh? 
Not now. I'm Sunita Alaha. <laughs> My wife! <laughs> Formally correct. Yeah? Devendra Sunita Karek, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assisting in unlawful immigration and bigamy. Devendra Allah, I'm arresting you on suspicion of being illegal. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Defense, you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Your solicitor's here, if you'd like to come. Where's my husband? Which one? How long have you known Ms. Perek? Ten years. How did you meet? She works for me. And how long have you been intimately involved? A few months. A few months? That seems like a short engagement. Must be true love. Yeah, we were close before. Things were complicated. I'd say they still are, wouldn't you? So, you work in a shop. Well, judging by your lifestyle, it must be a little gold mine. Nice car, a flat in Weatherfield Keys. I'm a businessman. You're doing well for yourself. Yeah. I'm always looking for new staff. You should remember that, because you'll be looking for a new career once I finish with you. Israel, well, I don't have to listen to this. I want to see Sunita right now. Ms. Perez. Her name is Alahan. That's my name. She's my wife. Well, that's what we're here to find out, isn't it? Because the woman that you call your wife is suspected of aiding through marriage the illegal immigration of seven men, including you. Where were you on Friday, September the 24th, between the hours 1 p.m. and 3 p.m.? My client will need to check that. I don't know. I think I was at home. Well, I have nothing to hide. Well, in that case, where were you on Monday, September the 27th, between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m.? This is a joke. Serial bigamy is no laughing matter. Now, would you please answer the question? Well, I don't remember. Maybe these will refresh your memory. For the purposes of the tape, I'm showing Miss Perec four marriage certificates marked Evidence Exhibit A. Is that your name and signature on the wedding certificate dated today? The interviewee confirms her signature. Uh, would you now check the signatures on the other three certificates, please? Your own birth certificate was presented at each ceremony. Now, do you remember? I'm a chairman of a local business forum. I was at a meeting all day. You can check. And Friday, September the 24th. Friday, I do stock taking. I visit all my shops. You can check that as well. And on that particular day, did you have any contact with Ms. Perec? Listen, I'm not going to tell you again. Her name is Alahan. Did you see her? No, I was out all day. That's all I needed to know. Do the names Walid Aziz, Mohammed Salik, and Jamal Kambula mean anything to you? No, no. You sure about that? I believe my client has already answered that question, detective. For the purposes of the tape, I'm showing Mr. Alahan four marriage certificates marked Evidence Exhibit A. You might want to look at This, this, this can't be right. Do you recognize the bride's name on each of those certificates? Can you just set us up? Now, look, there's, there's, there's a woman called Maya Sharma. Whose I... name is on the certificates? Yeah, Sunita, but... Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like your husband number four, Mr. Allahan. I'm sorry. Everything will be all right. I'm sure it's just an awful mistake. They seeded those plants too closely. See how that one's wrapped itself around the other? It's suffocating it. It's rubbing its light. Strength, its life. 
Who are you? I told you, I'm a friend. Friend who saw this coming. What, you knew this would happen? No, but I know your daughter. What do you mean? Sunita hurts people. Perhaps it started with Kieran, I don't know. Kieran? She didn't tell you. Their wedding was ruined as well, only she walked out on him. This is not my daughter we are talking about. Then she pretended to get pregnant by a married man to make him leave his wife, and when that didn't work, she stole Dev from the woman he was going to marry. A woman who loved him. Why are you telling me these things? Because I thought you had a right to know. I'm a solicitor. If you see Sunita, give her this. If she needs any help, I'm there for her. Why would you do this? Because I know she's innocent. So, why didn't you report the birth certificate stolen? Because I thought I'd lost it at the time. So why do you think this uh, Maya Sharma stole it? Because I'm in here and she's out there laughing at me. Does the name Walid Aziz mean anything to you? Well, Jamal Kambula? Well, that was one of the names on these marriage certificates. That's right. It might interest you to know that we found a list of names and addresses of those men and four others at your flat. For the purposes of the tape, I'm showing Miss Perek evidence marked B. But she's planted it. This mystery woman of yours has been busy. I don't know any of these men, I swear. If, if you don't believe me, ask them. We've already tried, but nobody's at home. In fact, there's no record of any of these men having lived at the addresses listed. Tell me, how much do you earn working for Mr. Allahan? About £200 a week. Do you receive money from any other sources? A family? A shares? No. Then maybe you could explain the 6000 we found in a savings account held in your name. Six individual transactions in cash of £1,000 over the past two months, two of which match the dates on those certificates. You see where I'm going with this? Six men, six payments, six marriages. Oh, my mistake. Seven, including today. How much longer is this going to take? Well, You're free to go, me. Mr. Allahan. However, we will be continuing our investigations. Where's Lisa? She's still being interviewed. Yeah, I want to see her now. Well, I'm sorry, you can't. You think you're going to stop me? Yeah. No. Go but I've got a few mates who will. She's a very strong woman, Mrs. Perek. That's why Dev loves her. But this woman, Maya, claims that Dave loved her. <laughs> she doesn't know the meaning of the word. The two best things that Dev ever did was marry Sunita and get shot of Maya. She's like a disease and she infects everyone around her. Perhaps you're right. But Sunita still wronged her. Sunita is the most kind, gentle, loving person I have ever met in my life. She's the best of us. She certainly was the best of me. She didn't set out to hurt Maya. She fell in love. With the wrong man, I think. It was Dave who brought this woman into Sunita's life. It's not his fault. Perhaps you're right, but it's his misfortune, and he carries it with him. That is why I fear for my daughter's future. It could be hours yet. I'm not going anywhere. There's nothing you can do. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, you do that. Jesh. Where's Sunita? They're still interviewing her. What the hell's going on, Deb? My ex. What's that supposed to mean? It's my ex. She set us up. No, the police think we're running some marriage scam with illegal immigrants. They've got three other wedding certificates with Sunita's name on them. But they let you go. Listen, Jesh, I'll sort this out. No, you won't. You've already done enough damage. This isn't my fault. I told you, my... You caused this by getting involved with her in the first place. Well, I didn't know she was going to do this. 
I love, I love your sister. You probably said the same thing to that bitch. I tell you what, I hope your marriage to Sunia isn't legal. Get off. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Sunita? What's the point? You'll only twist it round. I don't have to. I have too much evidence and you don't have enough answers. Listen, do yourself a favour and help yourself. Everything points towards you running this thing. If that isn't the truth, if there's someone else involved... I told you who did this. Her name is Maya Sharma. Maya Sharma! Sunita Parekh, you are being charged that between the dates of the 24th of September 2004 and the 22nd of October 2004, you assisted in the unlawful immigration of six persons into the UK, contrary to Section 25 of the Immigration Act 1971 as amended. Do you need anything else? My tablets. I need my tablets. I wasn't aware you were on medication. I have a tumour. I'll get that organised. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's my winning night. Saath me laakhi hum dono. Hamari shakti ab daigi. What does that mean? Together we will nourish each other's strength. Sunita Parekh, you are charged that between 24th September and 22nd October 2004, you assisted in the unlawful immigration of six individuals into the UK, contrary to Section 25 of the Immigration Act 1971 as amended. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty! You are also charged that between 25th September and 25th October, you married six males during the life of your husband, Walid Aziz. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Is there an application for bail? Yes. The prosecution submit that there are substantial grounds to believe that you will interfere with the course of justice. There are serious charges in which others are clearly involved. The offences were plainly well considered and planned, and you are alleged to have played an essential role. That we consider there are reasonable grounds to believe you will interfere with and jeopardise the police investigation. <laughs> Look at her. She be all right when you get Ms. Parekh, your trial will take place on the 28th of March 2005. Bail is refused for Miss Parrick. You what? I'm so sorry. If anything's get you out of here. You can't throw your money at this one. I've had it. I wish I could swap places with you. So do I. Well, what's the food like? I'm sorry, that's a really stupid question. I'm really sorry. Will you stop saying that? It's meaningless. I can't stay in here, it's unbearable. I'm going to get you out. I'm stuck in here till the trial. Trial. I can't even believe I'm saying it. Myra will come unstuck by then. They've refused me bail. They think I'm running an immigration scam. Yeah, but the truth will out and we will get through this and you have to have faith. In what? In me. In us. I'm in prison. Sunita Parrot, the underachiever from St Julie's High School, is in prison. Try sticking that on friends reunited. And I know this is a living hell, but, but I love you. I'm only in this mess because of your love. 
What do you think? I don't know that. Your money can't get me bail. And your love can't protect me from the lunatic whose bed you used to share. I'm only in here because you stopped loving her and moved on to me. Mm. Moved on. I hurt your delicate feelings. And I'm sorry if I used the wrong word. Only I'm a bit cabbaged at the moment, you know, what with one thing and another. Oh, it's bad yes. enough my wedding turned into a complete circus, that I was arrested in front of my parents, that I was carted off in a police car. Blushing bride. I was blushing all right. I have been stripped, searched, locked up, all my things confiscated, my wedding ring taken away, people barking orders at me, passing judgment on me. And what did I ever do wrong? Nothing. I can't stand it! I do have some lovely bruises to take to the police. Mana from heaven. How's Mrs. Alaha? Well, how do you think? Funnily enough, I've been giving it some serious thought. She's still in her wedding suit. Your problem is with me, not Sunita. Oh, thanks for setting me straight. Everyone knows that you did it. Why don't you get the Rovers Brigade to do a petition? Dear Inspector Morse, it was the bunker's ex what done it. Those that can't spell their own name could just do a paw print or something. That'd be me screwed. I hate you. I know, darling. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. That and a fistful of happy pills. She scrubs up nicely, your oh, dreary little mouse. And that lovely bat, what was it? I shall follow you wherever you go. What a tear to my eye, I can tell you. Well, maybe it was the onion bargy. Hi! Hi. You're insane. All this and for what? What did I do? I fell in love with somebody else. Yeah. That's about the top and the bottom of it. What is it with you? Why can't you move on with your life? Because it's so much more fun ruining yours! You listen to me. Listen. You're going to come unstuck. There's going to be a loose end somewhere, and they will find it. You'll never prove it in a million years. I'm afraid the shop girl stacked her last shelf. Save her. The police can't believe that Sunita, of all people, could do something like this. Well, I don't think I know a kinder, more honest woman. Thanks, Emily. I'll be sure to let her know that she's got lots of support here. Please do. What do you want? Poor you. I suppose this means the honeymoon's off. What a dreadful thing to say. Oh, 
please. I bet you and all the other old dears around here are delighted with gossip this juicy. Shop girl in asylum seeker scam. We old dears have nothing but respect and affection for Sunita, not to mention complete faith in her innocence. This may not be the most thrilling of places to live, but mark my words, we know how to look after our own. Be careful, Maya, it's time to show you true colours. Do you think I care? I'm sure you've already told the whole street this deluded idea of yours that somehow I'm responsible for little wifey's predicament. Of course, without proof. Get out. Temper, temper. Get off me. Get off me! It's always somebody else's fault, isn't it, Deb? I'm not interested. This is all down to you. You put Sunita in prison! Yeah, and you're beyond crazy, woman. Did you really think I'd just disappear? Just fade away? What do you reckon she'll get? Three years? Four? Well, look on the bright side. What a wonderful opportunity for Sunita to finally learn a trade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to kill you, you sad, pathetic no! No! Dev, what the hell are you doing? Yoni, are you all right? Oh, God, I know he's going through a terrible time, but did you hear what he just said, that he killed me? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Blokes like that will look it up! Leave it, son. Come on. Back to the red wreck again. Get on! Are you all right, love? I need to speak to someone. What's wrong? I've done something to <laughs> I've been withholding important information about the Perec bigamy case. I want to make a confession. Take your time. He used me. Just like he used Sunita. You mean Mr. Allahan? We were engaged before he moved on to Sunita. Oh, the time I was perfect for him. I was a lawyer, you see. So I knew all about legal loopholes and procedure. Of course, he wasn't in love with me. He just wanted my help. My legal skills to put this whole marriage scam together. You're saying Mr. Allahan is behind all this? He organised these marriages? Of course he did! Do you think Sunita, a simple little shop girl, could pull something like this off? It's Dev! It's all Dev! Are you all right, Miss Sharma? You don't know what he's like. What made you come forward now? He just threatened me on the street. Said he'd kill me. I was terrified. Where did this happen? On Coronation Street, outside his shop. I didn't know what he was going to do. He's usually so persuasive. Charming, even. That's why it frightened me so much to see him so out of control. Where the witnesses? But I don't want to make a statement. I just can't. I think he's capable of just about anything. <laughs> Can I get you some water or coffee? <laughs> coffee would be great, thanks. I won't be a minute. But try not to worry. We'll be talking to Mr. Allahan very soon. Mr. Allahan. <laughs> At last. Yeah, I've been trying to get in touch with you all day. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions, please, Mr. Allahan. Fine, you just ask away. Whatever you want, far away. It might be easier to do this at the station, sir. Fine. Well, come on. So we're going around in circles here. No, I thought you wanted to talk to me about Maya's part in all this. No, we do, sir. She claims you used her legal skills to help arrange these marriages. <sighs> now, listen. I'm going to put this in the simplest possible terms, right? Maya Sharma is responsible for all this. We were engaged. I jilted her. She went nuts. Revenge. 
right? Then she gets hold of Sunita's birth certificate. She marries these random blokes and she tips you off conveniently, you'll notice, just before my wedding. Then she turns up to my ceremony and she sits back and watches the fireworks. Remarkable woman, then. What's remarkable is that you lot have fallen for it. I've got to go. For well, urgent appointment. I thought you wanted to help us with our investigation. I'm going to see my wife. The wife you idiots have locked up because you can't see beyond anything that hasn't been put up in front of you on a plate by Maya Sharma. Mr. Allahan, we simply want to ask you a few questions regarding these marriages. For God's sake, I'm just a businessman. I own seven shops around here. I'm just an ordinary bloke who wants his wife back. Well, Mr. Allahan. Look, I'm already late. We're not finished, Mr. Allahan. Am I under arrest? No, sir. But we still have to follow up on the report that you threatened Miss Sharma this morning. Look, she was goading me and she was taunting me. Now, you think about it. Would she turn up to my shop this morning if she was terrified of me? Well, you don't deny saying you'll kill her. Grow up. Well, you never said that to her about anybody in your life, hmm? you? It's an expression, like innocent till proven guilty. Not always to be taken literally. I wasn't sure you'd agree to see me. Breaks up the day. Don't, Sunita. I'm not your enemy. This is all down to Dev. What? Don't you see? He must have sold your identity onto some dodgy outfit that arranges illegal marriages. Have you noticed your passport missing? Birth certificate, maybe? I knew you were mad. Why would I believe you over the man I love? Give it up, Maya. Both me and Dev know this is all down to you. Of course, it's all down to me. Clever, isn't it? Of course, without proof, what can you do? Police will find out. They always do. <laughs> Poor, naive little Sunita. You forget I'm a solicitor. Not only have I seen plenty of innocent people go to jail, but I've also picked up lots of tips from my more uh, unsavory clients. False alibis, planting false evidence, the works. Who would have thought it would all come in so terribly handy? Even if I do go to prison? Even if you get your evil little way, don't matter, does it? <laughs> because I love Dev with all my heart and soul, and he loves me just the same way. And that'll see us through anything you or anyone else can do to us. You silly, silly girl. Have you forgotten how Dev dumped you? How he dumped me? Do you think he's going to wait around for years for you? Look at the state of you. Even if you can arrange conjugal visits, do you think he'd even bother turning up? Wake up, girl. Devil move on. It's what he does. While you rot in here. Sunita! Sunita, you all right? Mm -hmm. Come in. Mm. I'm so sorry I didn't make it yesterday, baby. It's just the police called me in and by the time I left, um... Sunita? Maya came. What? What did she want? To go out, I suppose. She laughed at me. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. She's so clever, isn't she? And I'm so stupid. She stole my whole life right from under my nose and I never even... I should have been here. Doesn't matter. It's all gone, everything. No! Did I tell you they took my wedding ring? Put it in a plastic bag? And we're gonna get it back. Real soon. As soon as you're out of here. Uh, everyone's asking after you. I bought loads of cards and letters and well, they've taken them off me, but they said they'll make sure that you get them. 
And Shelley, I Shelley... I don't want to hear about them. They're your friends, babe. They're all out there, aren't they? Doing ordinary things, getting on with their lives. And I'd, I'd give anything to swap places with you, you know that. I can't handle this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The police will find something. Oh, she's bound to have slipped up somewhere. And a solicitor, the solicitor... Don't give. She's won. You know that as well as I do. No. no I'm not going to give up, and you can't either. There's this woman I share with. Paula. She ain't given up. Still claims she's innocent. Still reckons she's going to be with the kids again. She's been in here eight years. Yeah, but you won't. You're going to get out of here real soon, and that is why you've got to eat... She's driving her. herself mad with it. Believing she's going to get out. Better if she just accepted it. Better if we both do. No. I don't want you to come here anymore. What? I love you. If you love me, then you'll go, please. No. Then I will. Don't come here again. Good to see you. <laughs> Have a glass of wine. Thanks. So, how's London? Brilliant. Did loads of sightseeing. You know, Harrods, Harvey Nicks. <laughs> now, that's what I call a holiday, especially without a man there. Oh, yeah. Can't be doing with them. Sat outside the changing room looking at their watches. <laughs> We're not ready yet. Just give us a few minutes, eh? No problem. So, what have you been up to? Apart from marrying illegal immigrants. You heard them. A bit hard not to. You're the talk of the town, darling. So, come suss me out, have you? See if I really did do it. But don't be daft. They're just looking for someone to hang it on, and you're the obvious target. It must be awful for you. Well, I can't say I've been getting much sleep. Frankly, I'm sick of the whole thing. Anyway, I decided I deserve a break, so I'm going to Italy on Friday. Who knows, I might even stay there. You're joking. Of course. Doesn't mean I don't feel like it, though. Well, I can't say I blame you. So, do you reckon it's in behind all this, then? Only she don't strike me as being bright enough. Probably. He's very manipulative. You know, I bet he was doing this all the time I was with him and I didn't even know it. Maybe that's what all those little conversations and meetings were about. Nothing to do with her being ill at all. He's a nasty piece of work. You're well out of it. You know what really hurts? Is that I bent over backwards to be nice to those two. I even went to their wedding. Well, they invited you? No, I just wanted to go along. Show them I didn't bear any ill feeling. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I mean, after what they did to you. Well, yeah, but... Oh, I decided there was no point in being busy. You just destroy yourself that way, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, no one was as shocked as I was when Sunita got arrested. I really felt for Dev, you know. I called round the next day to see how he was, but what happens? Suddenly, I get all these accusations flung at me and I get thrown out into the street. I mean, the man's mental. Well, he'd have to be, wouldn't he? To think he can get away with it all. Well... Whether they get him for it or not, at least he's got his punishment. His precious Sunita's behind bars. Not much of a honeymoon for him, is it? And with any luck, she'll be there for a very long time. Red to order, ladies. Oh, sorry, we haven't chosen yet. <laughs> Mineral water, please. Sure. Maybe if I go and talk to her... She probably won't want to see you either. It's like she's gradually switching herself off from everyone. Preparing herself. For what? Staying in there. Oh, Dev, don't say that. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose her shell. I don't think I could bear it. Do you want stringing up that Maya? You know she actually went to see Sunita? You're joking. She had the gall to sit there in front of her and laugh at her. I mean, she destroyed us already. You know, that's not enough. No, she's got to stick that knife in just a little bit further. Just that I need to talk to you. Yeah, well, if you're about to plead the innocence of your friend, then you can forget it. I'm not. Just the opposite, really. Why? What is it? A while back, Maya told me she had this wedding to go to. Was that it? No. Look, for all I know, I could be barking up the wrong tree here. No, 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 go on. Well, a few days later, we were out having a meal and this taxi driver came in. He recognised Maya and came over, asked her how married life was. What? He reckoned it was her wedding he'd taken her to. She just laughed it off. 
it said that he got confused, and I didn't think anything of it at the time, but now... <laughs> but wait, would you recognise this guy? I mean, would you remember what he looked like? Yeah, <sighs> I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Frankie, you've got to remember something else. The girl is doing her best, is she? Look, Maya seemed like a really good friend. I'm not the only one she fooled. Uh, the driver had a silver streak in his hair. You know, like Dickie Davis off the telly. Is that any use? Yeah, it's bound to be. We'll ask around. I mean, there can't be that many cab companies. Mike, there's dozens of them. Not in that area. If it's a local firm, we might be able to trace it. it was, but even if you get the right outfit, it doesn't mean we're any nearer to finding him. Yeah, we're going to need more detail. Um, his son had joined the army. Does that help? Well, it might. Well, Maya made a thing of it. I realise now she kept going on about it to stop him going on about her wedding. Did he say which regiment? No, nothing like that. Uh, but the lad had just qualified, or whatever you call it. He'd been saying how thrilled he was, proudest day of his life, that sort of thing. Oh, so he would have told everyone? Oh, yeah, he will have done. Well, that should narrow it down. There aren't many people with sons in the army. Harbouring around all the firms. Oh, uh, no, uh, make a list. Patrick can drive around one half and... Uh... I'll get the others on the radio. Cheers. See you later. Yeah. Sorry. I don't want to know. Mr. Duggan, my wife is in jail because of Maya Sharma. Woman I picked up with call Sunita. Yeah, she's just pretending to be. Sunita is my daughter. Maya Sharma took her name. She stole her birth certificates, other documentation. She did. She went through various marriage ceremonies. Look, look, this is too big for me. I'm keeping out of it. You can't, Mr. Duggan. You're our only witness. I didn't witness a thing. I took some woman to the register office, dropped her off outside. That's all. Well, at least say that. That's all they need to know. Look, I stay as far away from the police as I can. You tell them one thing, they ask you something else. But they're only going to be interested in this one single cab fare. Yeah, and the rest. No, I'm keeping out of it. You can't, Mr. Duggan. You're our only witness. I'm not inviting the police to pop around in my business. I'm sorry. Look, if you don't help, and I'm going to go to them anyway, they're going to bring you in. Will they? Listen, don't waste your time. I'll deny everything. Mina, come in. Look, if you're here for news of your daughter, I don't have any. She won't see me. Apparently, the sight of me makes her, um, makes it worse for her. So until I can go with some real hope, but I can't. She's surviving, Dave. I wouldn't put it much stronger than that. May I sit down? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, what do you mean, uh, she's surviving? How do you know that? I've just come from the prison. You've seen her? She agreed to see you? I'm her mother. Yeah. And what can you offer her that I can't...? Not to give up. <laughs> really? Because I was under the impression that you gave up on her years ago. Viv, I haven't come here to fight with you. I've just seen my daughter in hell. That place. Look in her eyes. I'm sorry. Forgive me. No. Don't apologize. You're right. I did reject her. But I'm not going to do that again. This time, I'm going to fight for her, not against her. How? That taxi driver. Have you spoken to him again? What's the point? He's not going to help. Don't give up hope as well, dear. Okay, love. Let's, uh... Are you all right? No, not really. Oh, so what is it? Doctors? Hospital? No, not quite. Well, just say the word, love. I'll have you there in no time. I just have to wait for somebody. All aboard, then, are we? Yes, Tom. Thank you. Mm. Oh, not you again. What's going on, eh? Didn't I spell it out clear enough for you yesterday? What's it need? Fluorescent paint? No way am I going to the police. So come on, out you go. I've got a living to earn. Tom, this is my wife's mother. We haven't got time for meeting the family. Come on, out the pair of you. You are a taxi driver, Mr Duggan. That I am, and I want to stay one. And all we want is for you to drive us somewhere. But whatever you're planning, you're wasting your time. Is the meter running? It's ticking. Good. 
Can we go then, please? Mm, well, if you want to throw your money away, I can't say I didn't warn you. So where to? I will direct you. I know the way. Turn left here, please. Pull up anywhere here, thank you. You know where we are, Tom? Of course I know where we are. My Majesty's holiday home. So you're getting out? So what's the game? Are they releasing her? Or is this a breakout? Is your girl going to appear off at wall hanging on a knotted sheets and work getaway card? Is that it? You see, Mr. Duggan, I'm afraid I can't find any of that funny at uh, all. Well, no. That were a bit of a top. Bad taste. I apologise. My wife's always telling me off. Your wife? You have a family? You have girls? Do you have daughters? No, I don't. Look, I've had enough of all this. I'll drive you back, right? No charge, all right? But you have a son. He's away in the army. Yeah. On active duty. Somewhere dangerous. You must be very proud of him. Of course I am. He's a good lad. My daughter. She is a good girl. She's not a hero. Well, perhaps not like that, but... I saw her today, this morning. It was the first time I went to a prison. The look in her. No parent would want to see a look like that. Can I ask you something, Mr. Duggan? How would you feel if your son was captured? Try not to think about that. But you do think about it. You can't help it. You're a father. You would do anything you could to set him free, wouldn't you? You would move mountains, anything. No parent wants to see their innocent child. All right. I'm not going to the police. But I will help you. Thank you. It's not my kind of place, but I couldn't walk any further. Persuade her. You've got to persuade her. I felt... I needed to talk to somebody I could trust. And then I remembered how at the wedding, only you had come to talk to me, to help me, to help me to see, and... Oh, thank you. That would be very nice. Yes, bless you. Bless you. She bought it. She's coming. Brilliant! That was brilliant! I don't think I can do it. Yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. You're absolutely right about Dave, Mina. No question. Woman's intuition, eh? If only your daughter had inherited more of that. If only I'd trusted more in it myself. But Dave took me in. And step by step, he slowly led me down into some dark, dark places. When finally some last spark of decency made me say no. He just moved on to another victim. I did try to warn her, but she wouldn't listen. Are you expecting someone else? Oh, no, no, not at all. What gave you that idea? No, um, I was just thinking about what you were saying. About what? Oh. Sunita, not listening. She was never good listener. Well, don't blame her. Dev's very persuasive. Listen, I think this is probably not the best place for this sort of discussion, and I do have an urgent meeting. Perhaps we could talk more about this over dinner, somewhere where they know how to cook and not to earwig. You have my card. Oh, no, P please don't go. Don't leave me. Why? What's the matter? Taxi! Oh, that is for me. For you? Well, a moment ago, you were... A dinner engagement I forgot. What? Well, life goes on. Well, yes, I suppose it does, but, uh... It's been very helpful, you coming here. You can't imagine. Well, if I've been of any use. More than you know. Come on, love, I ain't got all day. Sorry. Is this the woman that you drove to and from her wedding? 
Yes. Can you point her out, please? Her uh, there. Now, will everyone note that Mr. Duggan pointed at Maya Sharma? Am I getting this right, Maya? Are there any objections? No? Great. And, Mr. Duggan, you are positive that it is Maya Sharma? No question. Except that one name then. Her husband kept calling her Sunita. It stuck me because it was such a lovely name. You got anything to say in your defence? Come on! It's not like you to go coy on us. This is your big moment. No? Nothing? Well, that's a shame. Take your hands off me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just being friendly. <laughs> what are you going to do? You go to the police and confess before I arrive with a string of witnesses? Might be the right move. They might go easier on you. Is that your legal advice, Dev? Well, I'm no lawyer, but it might help. <sighs> You're right. You are no lawyer. Any lawyer would know that he'd just thrown away his ace card. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, let's say I was guilty. I'd have been scared stiff about this guy coming forward, but letting your prime witness make an identification in a pub wouldn't be admissible for a second. It would look like exactly what it is, a setup. They'd laugh you out of court and I'd be laughing with them. Give my love to Sunita. But we can't just sit around and do nothing. Go back to the police station. And say what? They're not interested. Dave. I've just got my daughter back in my life. If this woman gets away with it, I will lose her again. I know, but there's nothing I can do. Go there, plead with them, beg with them, make a nuisance of yourself if you have to. But do something. No, nobody wants her out of that place more than I do, but there's nothing that I can do. Oh. What's the latest? Police won't do anything. What, so that taxi driver had it wrong, then? Oh, no, 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 no. He had it spot on. I identified her last night. So he did drive her to the wedding? Yep. Yeah. Well, she married someone of Sunita and set her up. The evil cow. I trusted her. She was my friend. I think how I feel. But then I don't understand. If he's identified her, what's the problem? It wasn't the proper police lineup. It doesn't count. So she's still free? That's right. That's exactly what we're just tearing our hair out about. Well, at least we've got time to plan our next move. I didn't think. Deb, we better do something quick. She said something about going to Italy. When? Today. Well, she's not broken any laws from what we can establish. We can't arrest her for going abroad. Look, all those weddings in my wife's name were done by Maya Sharman. Now, you've already got one witness, so why don't you just check your records, the registry office? We're working on that. Yeah, and you'll be working on it in Rio or Mumbai, all right? If you don't do something quick. Leave it with us. We'll look into it. When? When? She's going to slip through the net. I said, leave it with us. Well, you're not going to do anything? Fine, I will. Uh, Mr. Allahan. Sarge. What? I think you might find this guy interesting. Get out of my way. I could have you arrested for this. You do whatever you like. I've gone past Kerry. Oh, I get it. You told the police about that shabby little sting last night and they weren't interested. This is your last throw of the dice. Oh, but I'm not going to let you get away with this. You haven't a chance in hell. Listen, whatever I did to you, I didn't deserve this. Oh, wow. I feel the tug at my heartstrings. Nor did Sunita. If you've. Any idea of the damage you've caused? People get hurt every day! They don't carry out crazy tricks like this to get their revenge! You got what you deserved. <laughs> Not me, though, is it? It's Anita and she's innocent. We're in it together! Yeah. I'm going to Let me go. I'll start screaming. Oh, he's gone completely crazy! Get him off me, please! Thank God you came.
game. I thought he was going to kill me. Maya Sharma, I'm arresting you for conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, assisting in unlawful immigration and bigamy. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention no, where you've you question something which you later no, rely on. He's the on one behind all this. He's been trying to destroy me. Maybe given him and his up. They're the ones that should be locked up. Get off me. Get off me. What are you doing? When's my wife going to be released? You're not quite there yet, Mr. Well, why? You've got the right woman now. Ms. Sharma's still looking to you. Yeah, but you can't still say that she's guilty. That's all I can tell you right now. I better know you're taking me. This is routine procedure, Mr. Aziz. But this is great. Sunita. Tell these people you're my wife. Are you talking to me? They say I'm illegal immigrant. Will deport me. They were as mad as this. Sunita, please. I beg. Tell them we married a few weeks ago. I am in trouble. Well, you don't believe him, do you? I've never seen this man before in my life. It's all over now. <laughs> Darling? Hmm? You're out in the shopping list, not in the Magna Carta. You want me to cook something nice, don't you? Yeah, I just don't want to eat it for the rest of the month. <laughs> Mum likes okra. Oh. Will this do? Can I get on with this, please? Oh, darling, you're going to too much trouble. They'll be happy with beans on toast. But I want this to be special. Yeah, and it will be, because they're coming to see you. Baby, it's going to be fine. Dev, hmm. so much has happened, and we've all changed. I know this sounds silly, but what if we don't find anything to talk about? Well, then we'll talk about the weather or the news or whatever it is that normal families talk about. I've forgotten what the word normal means. Well, then it's about time you remembered. Because tonight's not about the past. It's about the future. Ours and theirs. Come on. So what were you two talking about? Mm. This and that. Well, your daddy was telling me about your precious mango trees, what? Dad! <laughs> you should visit your uncle soon. Your mango tree has become so big. This food, this food is delicious. Fresh. I'm going to be expecting this now every night. <laughs> Mum did all the hard work. She deserves the credit. That's not true. Sunita is an excellent cook. I had a great teacher. You're the teacher now, and I can just look forward to getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> to see the two of you like this, this is a night I will never forget. And I think that deserves a toast. Mm. To a night to remember. Night to, night remember. to remember. Cheers. A night to remember. Cheers. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? So, when can we expect grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> Sunita, the alarm's going off at the echo shop. I'm going to have to go and check it out. Has there been a robbery? Well, no, I hope not. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay, you've mm. got salt to tell. Hey, I won't be long. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Yeah, I'll 
bet you did too. Mm, just a bit. Anyway, it's cleared the air. I feel better. Good, good. They didn't mind me disappearing like that? <laughs> no, it gave Mum a chance to go on about your seven shops. Are you nearly there yet? Nearly. Any sign of a robbery, you call the police, don't go being a hero. Yes, and don't worry, darling, it's just a cat that's climbing through a window or something. Well, we'll go to bed in a bit. You do that, and I'll call you as soon as I can. I love you, babe. I love you too. Just, you know it, there's anybody in there. The, the fire upstairs is empty, but how can you move back? Move back, move back, move back, just... Mr. Alaher, I think we should get you checked over by the medics. I'm fine, all right, I'm fine. I'm just, just a bit, bit shaken. That's... How can that happen? How can a, a shop just explode like that? I don't know. We'll know more when the fire's out. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. It's just a shock of uh, seeing my shop like this. I'm all right. I just... I just need to sit, just for a bit. Right, do I sit? Yeah. Get out, get out, take your children with you, get out! Just around the corner, Verinda. The flames everywhere! Why did the fire you just stay calm. Just stay calm. You stay away from the fire. Now, Verinda, listen to your children. The children, they're with you. Yes! Yes! I'm dead! Oh, everything's in the flames! No, it's going to be OK. I promise you it's going to be OK. Yeah, 
be all right. You just stay with your mummy and everything's going to be all right. You hear the sirens? You hear the sirens? There's the fire engines and you see the firemen and everything is going to be all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No. No! You just stole 999. I'm on my way. Verinda, I've got to go. No! You can't just leave us! Listen, oh, I don't know what's going on, but he has to stop in flames. I have got please. to go. Dad! Yes. Is that you? Who is this? Uh, from the fishery and anchorage. Not to take your shot. Oh, God. Uh, would you mind coming over? The alarm's gone off. Oh, my God. This has gone for Clayton. Listen, Alahan, your shot's just exploded. Come on. Come on, pick up the phone. So need to die and just, just pick up the phone. Sunita, are you there? Sunita, is that you? Just, just just pick up the phone. Just pick up the phone. Sunita! What's going on? Hello, Dev. What are you doing? She can't come to the phone right now. She's a bit tied up. Her uh, alone. <laughs> I'm sure we can sort all this out. Maya. I swear to God. Come home, Dev. Now. On your own. If you touch a single hair on her head. I mean, on your own. Come alone and we can sort it out. Tell the police. And I'll kill her. Maya! What do you think he'll do? Come alone or call the police. <sighs> Come on, Mrs. Allahan. You must know him better than anybody. What? Oh, please, do? Maya, why are you doing this? Oh, come alone. He's arrogant and conceited enough to think he's the knight in shining armor, the Bollywood hero. Don't you think? <laughs> That's a pity. Because uh, I'm going to let you into a little secret. <laughs> I mean to hurt you. However he turns up tonight. Whatever he does. You've got no choice. <laughs> what, no photos of the arrest? The best part of the whole thing and no one recorded it for posterity. You destroyed the wedding completely ruined the biggest, happiest day of my life. Isn't that enough for you? I thought it would be. If you want to hurt us, then you've done it. We'll never get that day back again. It's gone forever. Not according to this. <laughs> that only tells half the story. It's a lie. Everybody knows it. Maya, you've had your revenge. There's no need for any of this now. I was so excited I couldn't sleep when I thought it all up, you know. One minute I'm all alone in the dark, crying into my pillow. Here I am again. Why does it always end like this? Wallow, wallow, wallow. Next minute it's dawn. And I can't stop laughing. A little... 
Loyal? <laughs> Lapdog, Sunita. Not just unfaithful, but married. <gasps> Not just once, but seven times. A husband for every shop, every shop in the tin pot empire, you know? How an idea just grows sometimes. Well, at first it was only a fantasy, but in the end, in the end I couldn't resist. Just for once I wanted the last laugh. And you got it. We were humiliated, completely humiliated. Ah, the look on your face. In front of all our family and friends. Please, Maya, why can't we just leave it at that? Because you're still Mrs. Allahan! You're on your honeymoon. I'm on bail, facing two years inside. You'll get more for this than that, a lot more! Yeah, if they catch me. <gasps> Please, Maya, just let me go and we'll forget all about it. Whatever you're gonna do, you can't hurt me more than you did on my wedding day. Do you really believe that? Yes. <sighs> You have absolutely no imagination whatsoever, have you? My, you just make... You're such a dim-witted, dreary little drudge. I used to wonder what he saw in you. You're just making things worse for yourself. Of course, when you think about it, it's obvious. He married you precisely because you're a dim-witted, dreary little drudge. I'd have been a challenge. I'd have kept him on his toes. I'm his equal, you see. You're not fit to lick his boots. Oh, but you are. And you were too, wouldn't you? Because mm. in the end, you're just an employee, and that's all you'll ever be. I'm his wife! <laughs> and hasn't he arranged his marriage to perfection? I can see it all. You'll shell out kids for him like you shell out change. You'll cook and clean and skivvy for him, serve in shops for him, do everything he tells you to do, and all for free. Now you're his wife. And one day, he'll get bored and look elsewhere. That's your future. And you rot in jail. My jail's better than yours. You wouldn't be here if you thought that. You're jealous. You want him and you can't have him because he loves me. He loves me, and he always will, so deal with it! Oh. <sighs> because you're a little bit slow, Sunita, I'm going to give you a big tip. Cowering, uh, snivelling, keeping your voice down, blending into the background, all the things Dev likes most about you. They're the things to do in this situation. Uh, think submissive. Play to your strengths. Because if you raise your voice to me again, I'll raise Ganesh to you. And he's very, very heavy. And it'd be a pity to be beaten to death by the god of good fortune before Dev's had the chance to save you. <laughs> He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. And he really is that fickle, you know. One minute he's burning with passion. Next minute he's with someone else. <laughs>
If Deb had sent them, they'd have broken in by now. It's a routine visit, don't worry. I'll be investigating the fires and he'll be looking for the owner, that's all. Go and stick around, it's a busy night. Go away, little man. Go on, the shop's empty, there's nothing happening. It's all quiet here, go away. I'm expecting company soon, go on. Oh, that's it, yeah. Go on, off you go. That's it, little man, goodbye. They're gone. <laughs> Is she okay? Mm -hmm. is it, baby? Oh. I wonder if he'll recognize these when he wakes up. We had many a night playing with them. I don't suppose you two go in for games much, do you? No, of course not, because you're a dim-witted, unimaginative, dreary little drudge. Oh, dear. I think I might have fractured your husband's skull, Mrs. Allahan. Still. If uh, he wakes up with a headache, won't you, my girl, I know what to do, won't you? <coughs> I don't know how you did this. I used to be a solicitor. I've got friends in very low places. But however you did it, the police will find out. They'll know. Everyone will know. Beats cutting up your clothes, don't you think? When all your other exes hear about it, they'll be kicking themselves they didn't think of it first. No, they won't. Because they're not mad, and this is madness. Now, you can't get away with this! We'll see. Let her go. Let's leave to go. Why? Please. Isn't that how you like her? Mouth shut, chained to the cooker. You know I'm not like that. Then I fail to see how you could choose her over me. Look, I'm sorry. Her over me. Her. That over me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, 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 no. I know I've hurt you, and I am sorry. So can we just keep calm and we can talk about this, please? You're pathetic. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Don't worry. It'll be OK. <laughs> Maya, just listen to me. You need help. Shh. 
She needs help. <clears throat> She's the damsel in distress. What I mean is that... And you're supposed to be the knight in shining armor, and you're not much good at it, are you? <laughs> you come storming in, you're all on your own, just like we knew you would, and bam! All over. Thank you and good night. The police are on their way. They've been. They've gone. Sorry. No, I rang them. They're going to be here any minute. If that were true, you wouldn't be telling me now. It's true. And if you let us go and when they get here, I'd explain how this is all my fault, how much I've hurt you. You're not responsible for your actions. And uh, we don't have to mention anything about the kidnapping. We don't have to mention anything about this and I'll talk to them and I'll tell Can I stop you there? Yeah, yeah. I don't do plea bargains, especially not when I'm the one holding all the cards. Maya, this is madness! And no pleas of insanity either. Wanting revenge. Wanting to get your own back on the man who destroyed your life. That's not insanity! You've had your revenge ten times over! You ruined my wedding, you got me arrested, you sent Anita to jail! You got me scared half to death, I've got shops in flames all over the city! Now isn't that enough? Not yet! <laughs> now please, my... I am begging <laughs> Just see sense. Now, you can't get away with this. And you are destroying your life as well as ours. You pursued me. I know. I know, and I'm sorry. I wanted nothing to do with you. I was happy. And you put on those stupid... <laughs> Michael Caine glasses. And you pursued me, broke me down, made me think it could work. I thought it could. You promised me you were different. Oh. You asked me to live with you. You got engaged to me, you told me you loved me, we were getting married, and then Sunita gets a headache and I'm history. None of it was planned. <laughs> Baby, I just did what I thought was right at the time. And what did she have that I didn't? A brain tumor? It's not love. It's Munchausen's by proxy. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, I loved her long before I knew she was ill. I know. I know you did. And I won't lie. I just didn't realize. You proposed to her before we even met. You swore, swore to me that there was no reason to be jealous of her, but still, you pursued me. Still, you went ahead and got engaged to me! But I wasn't lying to you. I was lying to myself. That's all I can say. I was lying to myself, and I'm sorry. When I tried to get you done for sexual harassment, you wriggled out of it and left me looking stupid. When I tried to stop you two getting married, you wriggled out of it and left me looking at two years in jail, so no. <laughs> it's not enough. Not nearly enough. Not yet. This time you won't wriggle out of it. Are you sure he said there was no light on? Yeah. When was this? About half an hour ago. There's one on now. Hang on a minute. That was quick. You know me. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I just thought I heard something. It's all quiet up there now. No one lives there anymore, mate. There's a light on. Oh. Doesn't mean anyone's at home. <laughs> Is that the police? Yes, it is. PC Gleister. Who's this, please? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. I've been on the phone. We're in the middle of a process, as you probably know. Who am I speaking to, please? Sunita. Sunita Alahan. I'm looking for Devendra oh. Alahan. That's my husband. But he's not here at the moment. Do you know where he is? Well, he could be at any one of the other shops or... Any point in between. It's been a bit of a hectic night. I need to ask you a few questions, Mrs. Alahan, if you don't mind. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> Give them to me or I'll break your fingers, you little bitch. He's not at the home number we've got for him, and he's not answering his mobile. Well, I think I can help you there. Um, first, you got a call from Eccles, then Swinton went up, and I think it was Ashton and Coates. It's been such a nightmare. And we didn't know if we were coming or going. He's been on his mobile so much, his battery ran down. He was calling from a phone box when you arrived. Did he say where he was heading? Uh, Salford, I think. Uh, was it back to Ashton? I'm not sure. It's all been so chaotic. I think I might have met him earlier. Might have. Well, I met a man who claimed to be him. You don't carry a picture of him by any chance, do you? Uh... Oh, yes, I think I do. <laughs> Can I see it? <laughs> Is that the man you spoke to? Yeah, that's him. Has he got any enemies? Business rivals, but no one who'd go this far that I know of. No problems with racism? Not particularly. How's trade been like? Good, I think. Why, what are you suggesting? Nothing. Look, everything seems fine now, as far as I can see. Well, they won't come now. Not while I'm here to keep an eye on the place. Actually, I think I'll stick around too. Uh, well, there's no need for that. Uh, the last fire was a couple of hours ago. I'm sure they'd have been and gone by now if they were coming. Even so, I don't think you should be on your own. I'll be all right. Well, I'll hang around in the car for a while, just until we're sure they've given up for the night. Or your husband comes back. Well, that's very good of you. Thanks very much. <laughs> Short delay, I'm afraid. But normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. He's gone. Now we can get on with it. Oh. You can struggle as much as you like, but uh, unfortunately you're in a bit of an awkward position. You see, this is a very sturdy, built-in cooker. But the beauty of the whole thing is that even if you manage to pull it away from the wall, it'll only make the gas come out quicker. I have to stay and watch Sunita, but I've got to go, I'm afraid. Don't break a nail now. This is it, Dev. The seventh fire in the seventh shop. <clears throat> if you believe in reincarnation, maybe next time you'll come back as something better. <clears throat> <laughs> Nearly forgot. You don't 
don't mind if I take this with me, do you? See ya. Wouldn't want to be a... Shop. Is that smoke? My God, I think it is. It's on fire. Oh, there's someone in the flat. I'll go ring for a fire brigade. Get out! There's a fire in the shop. Get out! There's a fire in the shop. Can you hear me? No, no, no. You better get away from that. Step back. I can't see anyone in there. It's all locked up. Sally, get out! There's a fire in the shop! Sally, Sally, get out! There's a fire in the corner shop! Quick, it could spread! Get out, quick! Did you hear that? Something about a fire. There's someone up there. Fire Has anybody called the fire brigade? We're already done, mate. Get out, quick! There's a fire on the corner shop! There's a fire in the corner shop. Quick, get it. Good spread. Quick, quick. There was a fire. There. Oh, oh, my God! God. Oh, come away. Come oh. away. Hey, <laughs> come on, get back. Devon and in there. Norris, get back, mate. We can't just leave them, can we? <laughs> Get on his shoulder and get him out of there! 